Today we're going to be making uh, here a nutritious omelet with some Nova Scotch salmon. What's that called? Nova, Nova. Nova smoked. Sliced smoked Nova. Smoked salmon. This is my lady boy, Florinda. He's going to be making the food today because I don't feel like moving much. Some days I don't feel, some days I'm a little bit too tired, a little bit too uh, fatigued from the thrusting that previously ensued. You know what I'm saying? So today we're gonna. We, first of all, we get, let's talk portobello mushrooms. No, let's not talk portobello mushrooms. You guys, slice those up. All right, I got to do a thing now. Huh? I cut up these portobellos, but let's talk about eggs. Now, some people in the vegan community exclude eggs as well. Kind of makes sense. No animal stuff. No animal byproducts. I understand. But Buddy Harwood, I ain't no fucking vegan. I, I, I identify as a vegetarian, maybe a pesco, because I do enjoy seafood. Uh, I feel like there's a very short timeline left to the point where the fish of Earth are going to be consumable, and I'd like to enjoy those omega-3 fatty acids, that nutrition that, that that salmon supplies, whilst I can before we fuck the whole place to death, because it is happening. Learn about plastic in the ocean. Learn about the North Atlantic trash heap, okay? Shit is going the fuck down, and I want to have a good fish dinner and every now and then wake up to some Nova smoked salmon in my motherfucking omelet. Look, <laughs> the reason I don't eat meat is because the meat industry in this country is fucked, so if I ain't able to go out hunting with my ladybirds and ladyboys and shoot us a, a good old buck or a steer or a fucking horse or some shit, and that's a rare occasion, you know, I try, I try to get out in the woods as, as often as I can, you know, I'm a, I'm a man of nature, but uh, I can't be hunting for my meat all the time, so, uh, so yeah, I more or less avoid it because I don't trust, I don't trust the meat industry in this country. I think it's just loaded with uh, feces and chemicals that I don't want to be consuming. However, eggs, if you can find, I, I know a local farmer down, down the road. We blow each other, you know, he gives me eggs. We got a little agreement. And, uh, oh, his daughter too. Whew! Lovely, lovely lady, lovely day, love, lovely girl. Really great, great participant in the sexual symphony that is Buddy Harwood. What was I saying? Yeah, if you can get yourself some uh, some 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 well sourced eggs, what the fuck are you avoiding, brother bear? Life feeds on life, feeds on life, feeds on pussy. That's my philosophy. It's also the lyrics to a Tool song. You can't live your life avoiding the fact that uh, it's not just a dog-eat-dog -dog world. It's a human-eat-dog world, particularly in the, in the Orient. It's like it's disgusting the way the meat industry, particularly in America, is ran. And, the, and just the amount of waste that is used to feed these animals. But as far as the eating of other sentient creatures... This is unavoidable, my friends. Do you realize that if me and you was trapped in an elevator, at some point, I'd get a little bit hungry, and at some point, the sex wouldn't be enough to distract me from, from my hunger. And I'm gonna fucking kill and eat you. Doesn't mean, doesn't mean I'm a bad guy. Just means I'm a, I'm a fucking creature, bro. You know, I need to, staying alive, staying alive. It ain't just a Bee Gees song. It's the function of all biological organisms. Come find me in the forest. These mushrooms ready yet, Philandra? Yeah, yeah, that was great. Fuck yeah. Well, you, you know, I got one of the mandolins. You don't gotta be fucking doing all this the fucking primitive way. But you got a mandolin? Anybody know about mandolins? It's not just a beautiful guitar that Paul McCartney plays on the song Dance Tonight. It's, uh... It fucking makes this so much quicker. I'll shave these onions right here. Shave me. Because I like that hairless presentation. You know what I'm saying? I like all sorts of that. Sometimes I like myself a nice forested area. I like to feel I like to feel like I'm uh, like I'm storming your castle and it's being defended by the ents, you know? Them them dendroids. And tree people coming at me. I'll push right past. When I want what I want, I get what I'm looking for. You know? Don't be threatened by Buddy Harwood. Be accepting of the of of the gift that you're that you're receiving.
You know, you just, you just hit the lotto. My cock, bro. Says hello to you. You know, says hello to the whole world in the morning. It's like how the rooster crows. The cock awakens. I think we got enough of this onion there? That's great. Fuck yeah. Let's put it in that. Put it in me. Put everything inside me. If you find something valuable, stuff her in. Pile of mushrooms and onions that will awaken your spirit and fulfill your loins. Put that in my omelet. Stuff that in my ass. Be sure to wash your hands between everything you do in life. Don't be a fucking coward about it. Now what do we got going on here with the salmon? Let's see here. <clears throat> Natural cage free grain Fred. I investigated this. It's actually bullshit. They live in a living hell. They're what? Dead. Yeah. <laughs> you didn't know that? Those poor little fellow. Oh yeah, everything, uh, when they, yeah, uh, I looked into this and, uh, from hands raised in a humane environment with vegetarian feet, they're still like fucking shoulder to shoulder. Oh, yeah. They're they're just not in a cage that's in a big warehouse with no cages. Oh, I read an article uh, where somebody was like, I went into the into the humane environment and it was like this just putrid dungeon shit. I mean, that's I mean, this is the world we're living in. If if you want your world to change, you need to first you need to realize your own power and your own ability to shift the circumstance. Uh, but for the time being, do it, I mean, your nourishment in order to be the best weapon of change that you can be starts with eggs, I think. And life feeds on pussy, so I put them in my fucking, I put them in my body. So we got the salmon going over here. That's looking almost ready. It is. Let's take a little, a little taste. Mm. Ooh! Shows going underway. It's receiving great reviews right. on the internet. Got People some. love Buddy Hardwood. People fucking love me. Mushrooms, mushrooms and onions. Yeah. Mushrooms and broccoli. Yeah. Give that some time and make sure that the, you want to make sure that the vapor is completely soaked. Did you know that if you do, you get your butt, you get, you get, if you're gonna cook mushrooms, fucking cook them. You're not. You, there's, there's very, very few. I know a mus mushroom expert. Okay, I'm also a big fan and follower of Paul Stamets, who believes that, that mushrooms can save the world. Every, I mean, you just, I just released some, some new, some new research the other day about uh, some shit I don't remember. But, uh, but, but mushrooms. They could uh, <clears throat> absorb the radiation from Fukushima. I think. So, uh, yeah. Yeah. But cooking the mushrooms and unleashes the nutrients. You know, there's very few carrots are the same way. You want to steam them a little bit. You want to give everybody thinks that heat kills all the enzymes. And you know, for the most part, that's very true. I mean, that's why this motherfucker. I don't even know why it exists in my house. To I don't use my microwave. To remind us of the eagles of the world. Yeah, it's just a skeleton. It's that's the bones of a dying world. But I'm a new, I'm a new age man, Buddy Harwood. I'm a, I have a new approach to to dieting. To sex! To live in my fucking life! I'm a free boy! Welcome me! Welcome me into your home, into your orifice. Why is this still on? We're gonna burn it's the fucking house down. It needs to be hot. Okay. You gotta get the pan nice and buttery. That's right. In the dungeon where I dwell, put that dick in me, Maybell. You know what I'm saying? He knows. That's a lot of butter. It's too much butter. Trying to clog me up. <laughs> it's trying to much. slow me down. Everybody's trying to slow Buddy Harwood down. There you go. Got Every, of everybody's afraid of, of, of what will happen if I unleash my full potential on this world. Now. I'm worried too. A lot of people say, you know, before you make it omelet, you got to crack the eggs, put them in a bowl, whip them around, make a little fucking egg soup. No. Do it right into the pan. It's like so. Otherwise, it destroy the flavor of the egg. If you're like, what are you ruining it? You ruined it. No, no. You just mix it around like this, right there in the pan. Just get it everywhere. You want a little bit of the white, a little bit of the yellow, a little bit of the white. Well, sometimes I'll, I'll stir it up beforehand, but it's because I want perfectly equal distribution. No. 
Don't lie to me. It's wrong. Should never do it that way. Destroys the flavor. Yes, my lord. Black pepper. Now, black pepper is very, very important. Uh, black pepper uh, invokes the spirit of the turmeric times a, a, a thousand percent from what I've heard. I've also added some mild curry to that. But that's cool. I like curry on my breakfast. I put fucking curry on everything. Put a little bit more turmeric on that shit. Damn. It helps with my environmental exposure to d certain contaminants. Turmeric is one of the most cleansing, most magical, anti-inflammatory things that exists. I love that shit. It's my goddamn salt. Right Keep my innards looking like highlighter. Take her easy on the salt. That Nova smoked is salty as hell. I know. It's fucking know. super salty. It's like fresh out of the thing that they use to keep it good with the salt. They put it in salt to keep it keep it good. Yeah. <clears throat> See, you flip an omelet good. Mostly and slide it off like that. Ooh, a lot of these folks is bad at slipping and sliding, but you got it under control. And this is a French style omelet. That's a fantastic omelet. That is one of the better omelets I've experienced. Then we can take a little bit of the vestigial visuals. Put them on top. That your presentation there. is immaculate. Your presentation is unknown to this world. Sprinkle a little bit of the salmon on there. Get the fuck out of my house, stranger. And it is. Oh! Finito. Oh my fuck me! Ooh. 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 A little bit more turmeric on there. A little bit more turmeric on everything that ever goes inside of me. There we go. That reminds me of when I was a little boy. It's freer times. Mm, less stress, more pleasure. Life is, life is about pleasure. That's my goal. That's what I'm seeking. I ain't here trying to save the world. I ain't on no drudging mission. I'm here to see how much I can food, how much I can fuck, how much I can love and appreciate the day. Many, many more to come. Mm, many, many more to come in me. This is beautiful. Whew. And to think I made this myself with a little bit, a little bit of help from my, uh, from my boy slave. Just a little, though. You know, just doing, just making the movements. I'm the brains behind this operation. Mm, I don't deserve this bite, do I? Do we, do, you, do we deserve each other? Yes, in fact. Mmm. Mm. Oh, my foot. Who? 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 It's that Ric Flairian bird call. Remind you what it's like getting fucked like a fucking danger mouse. Put me in your push. This has been Chew Time with Buddy Harwood. Reminding you all how to live your fucking life properly. Meet me in the woods for a casual exchange. I'm Buddy Harwood, and I love you in ways you may never understand. I love this omelet, my whole heart and puss. <laughs>